Hi friends, in our previous video we have seen how we have uh, used a string to generate a PDF output. So now we'll try to display one image in our PDF file. So for, for that let's first call our uh, fpdf class for this. Include fpdf.php. This file is in the same directory. In our previous uh, video tutorials we have explained how to download and install it a pdf equal to new this is the object we are creating now we'll add one page new uh, uh, sorry add page so new page is added now we'll go for a image now you can see here that we have in our directory you can see we have created one image folder and kept two images inside this two images these images will try to uh, display it in our PDF file because this is inside the image directory so we'll be giving that path so image sorry here image method we are using images this is the directory inside which our uh, images are located so PDF header dot jpg this is the image file located inside now zero and 0 this is x and y position from the top left corner of the page so now we will generate the output i'll just without any options we'll simply will generate the output by default it is i only so let's save this let's go and refresh it you can see this image is displayed here at the top left 00, zero is here this position top left corner is 00, zero. now let us just move it down by adding 10 to it we can see sorry this is x position so it will move right 10 so we can see this will be i'll refresh this page you can see this 10 it has moved in the x direction or horizontal direction now from the top let's bring it down from the top we'll give 30 so I have saved it, refresh it, you can see it has moved downward 30. Now this is how the x and y position we give. Now to this also we can add the size of the image, image our width and height also we can control. So let's say we will reduce the height width to 150 and height to let's say 50. So let's see how this looks. you can see this is the size is changed to this image we'll add one hyperlink so let's say the image type is jpg and we'll say on this we'll, let's link it to www sorry dot plus to net dot com now on clicking this this should go to this site so i'm just refreshing this fine now i'll click this it will go to the external url We'll try to add common header and footer image. So suppose your logo is there, you have a multiple pages report. So you can a footer or header can appear in all the pages or the footer or your contact information can appear in all the pages, uh, all the pages at the end. So we'll try to develop a common header and footer. So for that we'll extend the class now. So we'll say class PDF extends. Now we'll say F PDF so let's write some function inside this we'll say function uh, i'm calling header mm, header inside this header let me just first try to put the same image this now image uh, it's my images directory inside that pdf header dot jpg this is the file and i am just display it at 0 comma 0 0 0 position so this is my header is over now let me first develop header then i'll go to footer so new pd the here it will be no more pdf it is new so f pdf it is pdf now so inside this i will let's set a margin <coughs> so we'll say set margin we'll say 10 dot uh, will 60 and 10 so this is our margin and then we'll go to okay add page is there now say we'll set a font also if required so other things also border anything is required you can add it up let's say 
set font times we are going for a different one let's say normal no style bold or underline and giving a 12 because we are uh, now displaying some uh, for loop we'll use so we'll extend it to multiple pages instead of giving continuous line breaks to make we have to our purpose is to make two three pages so two three pages one thing is we write all the text or use a loop with line breaks so we can uh, multiple pages we can generate with less code i equal to one so again the variable is less than equal to 40 let's say and I will increment it fine now inside this we'll write uh, PDF cell means 0 sorry 0 10 this is at the position this is sorry this is a string so we'll give a quote here this is line number we'll say the number here give the quote dot sorry we'll end it here and dollar i and then 0 1 you can see our uh, previous tutorial about all details about cell so this is the uh, for loop we have used uh, this will remove it this is no more this image is required here so directly output now let's see how this output is uh, let's refresh this okay you can see the header image is there because we have used 00, zero. now let's scroll down and see it, it should repeat yes in the second page also it has repeated so now we'll add a footer to this so here it is function so after header function we'll again say function we'll say footer footer in <coughs> and inside the footer we'll set some margin for location we'll set it now we'll say set y there is set x set y like that you can do and position the cursor set y equal to minus 20 minus 20 from the bottom it will come so this set y is minus 20 and now the footer image we have a different image for the footer you have seen in the inside the directory so that image will bring it here so we'll say images pdf um, footer sorry okay. i should exactly match the name of the file otherwise it won't display so this image is pdf footer fine now this should give me the footer image also let's refresh this yeah let's scroll down yeah you can see footer image goes here plus two. this is a another image we have so that also is there now if we can increase the loop also where is the loop here let's go to let's say 80 so multiple more pages will be generated so the we can see in multiple pages the same header and footer is repeated let's see one this is there second page now this is third page so it's again the fourth page so it is the fourth page and it is there so like that the multiple pages are there the header and footer will be repeated in all the pages